is up my geeks and freaks big girl geek here with a brand new review and of course i'm here to review captain marvel the latest from the mcu y'all know what time it is it's time three two one all right so i saw captain marvel just a few hours ago fresh hot off the presses and spoilers will be in this review it should be in the title but if i do forget um, I'm letting you know, also in the description box, there will be spoilers. So if you have not seen Captain Marvel yet, and you plan on seeing it, and spoilers will mess it up for you, um, I suggest you come back after watching the movie. Or if you're like me and actually can learn a few things about the movie, and that have that not bother you, then feel free to watch this before seeing it. But again, everyone has been warned, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers <laughs> in this review. Okay, so Captain Marvel was released this weekend, and I went to see it, obviously, and if you can tell by the smile on my face, oh my god, I enjoyed the movie. I know there's a big uh, controversy surrounding the movie with what the actress who plays Captain Marvel, her comments, which I addressed in a separate uh, video, but that didn't seem to stop the moviegoers. According to the news, let me get this right because I wrote this down, and of course I went in a movie theater and saw it, so I could not take notes. So if my thoughts are all over the place, please forgive me. I'm still running on a high. But it, um, Captain Marvel is the biggest worldwide opening of all time for a female-fronted film and the second largest opening for a comic book movie. So if I'm reading that correctly, understanding that correctly, it beat out Wonder Woman, which is a hard feat. So Captain Marvel did that round of applause. So that quote-unquote boycott <laughs> must really didn't have any impact on these numbers that they got for opening weekend so far okay so let's just jump right into this movie i want to keep this movie uh review kind of short simple and to the point because i'm sure you guys have seen a ton a ton of movie reviews i know some issue with rotten tomatoes that they had to take down a bunch of negative uh quote unquote troll reviews but yeah i'm going to try and keep it as short as possible and to the point like I said, I enjoyed the movie. I want my daughter. You can check out our, our vlog. It should be up now on the channel by the time you're watching this. So check out the vlog first, then head back and watch this, uh, this review. So overall, I love the, I love the movie. Let's break down into, uh, let's get to certain things. Okay. So acting, I think the acting was great. Um, some people said they felt Brie was like, she couldn't hold it and she was dry. I think she did a great job. Some say she didn't capture the essence of Captain Marvel. I think I disagree. I humbly disagree. My opinion differs from, from theirs. I think she did a, a great job. There were some moments where I think a, some of the lines that were meant to be funny may have felt a little flat um, from her. But overall, I think she did an amazing job as Captain Marvel. Samuel L. Jackson kills his Nick, as Nick Fury, um, as he always does. It was great to see... Um, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Clark, uh, Clark from, um, why is his name, uh, Coulson, because I'm mixing up his real name and his, his, um, his, uh, character's name from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So great to see him. Um, who else, who else was so big acting? Um, the young lady, and I can't remember her name, that played the best friend, loved her, loved her daughter, so the acting all around was great. The, um, visual effects, um, CGI, um, I thought it was great. They had to make a younger version of Coulson and uh, Fury, and I think it came off uh, well because, we, as, as we know, uh, Samuel L. Jackson and, and him, they're not uh, that young. So I appreciated the CGI with that. I think Marvel was, was ahead of its game when it came when it came to that when they had to make uh, Michael Douglas look super young from Iron Man and um, Ant-Man. So, I mean, they continue that. They're great on that. I thought the visual effects, as far as them being in space, Captain Marvel, when she, um, when she when she lit up and when she was flying I thought that was top notch uh, story plot script whatever you like to call it I enjoyed it I mean if you are familiar with the comics you may have known in the direction that they were going where you thought the heroes were the heroes but they actually turn out to be the villains and the villains actually turn out to be the heroes I mean there was some gasp in the audience you could tell from people that that um, are probably just you know movie fans and they didn't really look into what was going on with the story um or they couldn't really you know see where it was heading um but it was announced i believe it was announced that you know jude law was was oh and i forgot his acting great <laughs> jude law was you know hired and, and cast to play the villain so i mean i don't think i don't i know i read that somewhere so i don't know if that was like you know not mentioned or whatever um 
but yeah I thought the story was great it was not as um, you know humorous as I expected it to be being a Marvel film I found that to be a little bit surprising um, but the humor that that you did have was 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 good it was there I thought um, yeah the story was great um, the only part of the story that seemed to be a little bit disappointing to me was how we found out how Nick Fury lost his eye and it was from the cat um, the alien cat and I thought that was like oh that's how he lost his eye last time I trusted someone I lost an eye okay <laughs> but um so that part I was a little disappointed with that was oh, that's that story that one little piece of the story um I was a little dis disappointed with it. It was great to see Digimon Hunsu. It was great to see Ronin. It was great to see all those Easter eggs because this takes place in the 90s that we already know from the other movies, Guardian of the Galaxy, Avengers, things like that. So it was great to see that. So the acting, great. The visual effects, great. The plot, um, the story was okay. The humor, I felt, could, could have used a little bit more work. It was not up to what I consider to be Marvel standards for a um, Marvel movie but hey maybe Thor Ragnarok just spoiled me I don't know um I thought um like uh, the costume design and the uh, and the look the production design the look and feel of the movie was great it was great to see like those 90s nostalgia moments I'm a kid who grew up in the 90s I was born in 86 so um you know to see those video games to see blockbuster video to see a payphone <laughs> being used a pager uh it was great to see um, some of the standout moments, my favorite moments of the um, of the movie. I don't know if I could pick a top three because I loved it all. I thought the uh, breakout star actually was a little girl that played the daughter. Um, favorite moments. Um, I guess I'll jump ahead because my absolute favorite moment, I had to think about it, was the first end credit scene. There was two end credit scenes as always. Second end credit scene, the cat threw up the tesseract. The first <laughs> end credit scene, when I say I screamed in that movie theater, I said, yes, come on now, and jumped out of my seat. The people next to me were like, okay, she's really into it. Uh, we see the Avengers. We see Captain America. We see uh, Black Widow. We see War Machine. We see uh, Bruce Banner. All trying to figure out who Nick Fury paged. They got the pager and they're trying to, they're sending out the signal. The signal stops. They said, who did he contact? Black Widow turns around and Captain Marvel is right there. And she says, where is Nick Fury? I scream. Best hands down moment of the entire film was that 30 second freaking clip. <laughs> that in the credit scene. Um, things that, like I said, overall I liked it. But there's some things that I felt could be worked on. Um, the fighting sequences was not I don't know maybe I said I was spoiled with Black Panther and Avengers Endgame some of the fights the main fight the big fight that she had could have been more I needed more I needed more so it fell flat as far as fighting and choreography for me but the visual effects part was good but the actual fighting actually seeing her fight fell flat um, she left Jude Law. They had no big fight, which was funny. Like, he's like, you know, fight me without your powers. And she, you know, zapped him. It was funny, but I really wanted to see a big fight. So that, to me, fell a little flat. Was a little bit disappointing. And the humor um, was a little bit disappointing for me. So those are things that I kind of um, didn't like. And it had its slow moments where I was like, all right, pick it up, pick it up. We have so much to get through. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Um... But yeah, that felt a little flat for me. So, you know, it's obvious that she's coming to save the day. They called her. The signal came through. Um, it seems like um, there was a, some gap. She went to help the um, the aliens um, find a home. And she said, only page me in emergencies. And so he only paged her. We for Now, it looks like he only paged her um, with the, the events of um, Infinity War with everyone disappearing. So it's like... It's been, what, 20-something years? Why hasn't he paged her again? What's she been doing that 20 years? I'm sure that will be Captain Marvel 2, and we'll see what she's what she's been up to. Because when she does make that surprise little appearance, she looks a little worse for wear. Like, she's been through it. Sis has gone through it. Um, so if I have to give the re the, the movie a uh, on a graded scale, I would give it... Oh, my God, I would give it a B. I really, really enjoyed this movie. But there were some 
um, stuff that fell flat for me and is it the greatest movie in all of the MCU by far no it is not but you will enjoy this movie it was great to see it with my daughter she really enjoyed seeing this girl kick butt and she didn't really know too much about Captain Marvel and she really did it she enjoyed the movie as well and she said oh man I love seeing her love seeing that girl uh, kick butt so that was really nice and endearing to my heart <laughs> to see so I thought that was that was really nice it's a great movie to take your sons and daughters to so both everyone the whole family of course can enjoy it and you know that because it's an MCU film but like I said overall enjoyed it definitely gonna go see it again definitely gonna give it a second viewing and then maybe my grade will change I'll let you guys know but um yeah it fell flat in some places and could this mean now that the movie is officially out will we get another Avengers trailer where they don't edit her out because you can really go back and look and see where there's some moments that she should be in that trailer and they may have edited her out what do you guys think possible new trailer release for Avengers featuring Captain Marvel did you see the movie? What did you think? Let me know in the comments. As always, I can't wait to discuss this with you because it's the latest for Marvel. It's the latest in MCU. It's the movie before um, Endgame, and we have a lot to talk about. So that's all I have for you guys tonight. Until next time, I'm out of here. Big Girl Geek Out. Peace. Hey, where are you going? You just watched a cool video. Subscribe.